because the main event of AEW last Wednesday was supposed to be MJF and Samoa Joe taking on two of the Devil Stooges in another one of these challenges that never seems to come about for some reason. And right as MJF was entering the ring, and before I even saw Samoa Joe or any kind of a match, I was alerted to the fact that it was 10 o'clock Eastern and my DVR froze. They didn't even start the f***ing main event until out of their time slot. So can you explain to me what they did? Because I tried to read the recap on the internet and I didn't understand the evolution of events as they were written down in front of me. All right, I'll see what I can remember off the top of my head because I don't, uh, you know, a lot has happened since last Some Wednesday. way or another... Joe is the one who's who was turned on MJF right. by MJF was found in the back. It was on the screen, lying on the ground, hurt the same way Joe had previously been, I think, last week. And then Joe revealed himself. I forget. They may have done the lights out, lights on again. I don't even remember. <laughs> Joe revealed that he's in cahoots with the devil. He isn't the devil, but he's going to take that title from Max at the pay-per-view. So then they they the top they, baby face has been made to look like a complete piece of shit. Not a piece of shit, just an idiot. And just a an dude, idiot, a buffoon. And, yeah, no, he trusts all the wrong people. But so then now are the Devil Stooges the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions? Yes, they are the World Tag Team Champions. Because MJF beat, got to the ring and got pinned. They beat MJF. Yes. But never took their masks. Off. See, I forgot that was the match. You know, you, now that you're saying it, I remember it all in yes. a different order. Yeah. So MJF's hurt, then he finally gets to the ring, then Joe turns on him, and then they reveal that the uh, devil has paid off Joe, I guess, and that the devil's tag team, which we believe are the kingdom, are now the Ring of Honor tag team champions. Well, no, but we didn't know that then. We didn't know that then. We don't know who these people are. No. So basically, the match, which didn't start until the fucking show was supposed to be over with, then what transpired was that Joe revealed that he had been paid off by the devil and, and his henchmen to milk MJF into that position, where then he then turned on MJF, and then the devil's henchmen, who were still at this point unknown and unrevealed, beat MJF and win the Ring of Honor tag team titles that MJF and Samoa Joe were defending on behalf of MJF and Adam Cole, who is hurt and cannot wrestle for months and months and months from now. And that's so that MJF basically was left laying on his fucking face again. And again, this was the buildup. This was the last thing for the pay-per-view. A pretty big moment, Samoa Joe turning on MJF before the pay-per-view, and a lot of people like you wouldn't have seen it if you tried to DVR this show. Because this was the thing <sighs> they decided to stick in the overrun spot. Instead of just not having the, I don't know, Statlander versus Sky Blue match, and having this fit into 10 p.m. Instead of doing it at 9 o'clock and then referring to it and talking about it and what in the world is MJF going to do to get even with Samoa Joe on Saturday night until 10 o'clock, they put it on after 10 o'clock and hope for the best. Well, that was AEW Dynamite. <sighs>